Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Big Fish Lad. If you're new to the channel, my name is Paul, and today we are going to talk about the Nicaraguan cichlid. So, the obviously we'll do a species profile. I'll tell you some facts and figures that I've learned about these guys that I know. Um, you know me, guys. When I do my species profiles, I like to keep it simple, so I won't drone on too long. Um, I also reached out to my guys on to my followers, sorry, on YouTube um, to see if anybody fancied doing a species profile on my channel. You know, I had a couple of people, Bill and John did one, so if you've not seen those videos, head over to my species profile section and you can see those videos. If anybody still fancies it or anybody wants to do a species profile on my channel, just reach out to me guys. You can either comment on the, on the YouTube video or you can contact me on Instagram. Um, yeah, so if anybody fancies that, give us a shout. Okay, so today we're going to do a species profile on the Nicaraguan cichlid, and so let's go over and check them out. Okay, so we'll start with the pair that I got from Bill. Um, we'll have a look at them, then I'll take you over to my other one. But some information on these fish. Um, so obviously they are the Nicaraguan cichlid. That's what they're commonly known as. The scientific name is the Isophorus Nicar nicaraguensis. Bit of a mouthful, guys. They come from Nicaragua, obviously, and they obviously come from Costa Rica, which is in Central America. Um, the males can get up to about 10 inches, so, you know... Decent size, I suppose, you know, an easy size to keep, not like the bigger Central Americans, but actually quite big on uh, against some others. The female's probably going to get about to about, about eight. Um, they like lots of cover, so like rocks, wood, things like that. They, they, they're, at, they're relatively like an easy fish to spawn like a lot of the Central Americans are. I mean, this is a breeding pair, as you can see. It's stunning, aren't they? Um, I'm really happy with these. The males about in this in this video is probably about six inches, and the females around about four. Um, I think in my tank at the moment they're actually looking for somewhere to spawn at the moment, so we're probably going to see some <coughs> wigglers if they get that far with all the other fish in the tank. Um, when it comes to diet with these guys, they are pretty much a spread diet. So balance, I always say a balanced diet. So you know you've got a meaty diet vegetable diet if you're using a pellet nothing is a good range absolute foods are a good range obviously you can use your live food i feed these black worm and your live foods will help with breeding as well frozen foods I, I, i'm not a big user of frozen foods but if i do a bit of blood worm uh, maybe and that kind of stuff they'll, eat, they'll, they'll take it they'll take a lot of food they are relatively a peaceful fish a piece as, as american cichlids especially centrals go these are a peaceful fish but let me tell you guys in this tank right now my male nicaraguan is pretty much bossing it don't get me wrong he's not in with mega aggressive fish but he's bossing it right now and he's got the extra spear in there the netropolis um so you know, fish that can hold their own, eat, but he's relatively boss. Anyway, this is my other one, so just some footage on my other one, which, is, which, to be honest with you, when it comes to sex in these cichlids, you're going to get, with the males, and it's when they get older and get larger, the males are going to lose that lateral line and just have the spot. The females will keep the lateral line, and actually, females will be more colourful. So I'm not, I'm not sure on what sex this is, it's only around about four, three to four inches. So they, they're not. It could still be male, even though it's got the lateral line, because it may not have lost it yet. Um, also, with the males, they're going to get a nuchal hump. So not a massive nuchal hump, but they're going to get some big fodder on them, big forehead. Um, but yeah, and, and and one of the things about this fish is, if you like colour, if you like colouring a fish, this fish is for you because. The, I mean, the, the cam I don't think the videos don't do, don't ever do it justice because they get a really nice yellow. So that you can see that the yellow in the video, but sometimes it's really, really, you know, distinguished. Uh, tank mates, I mean, 
you can get away with like, I mean, you can see in this video that we're both, my, we're all three of mine, they're all in with other tank, other tank mates. And usually, I don't have a problem. Like I say, this male here is a bit, bit boisterous, but again, there is no army. So you can have other Central American cichlids in with them. Obviously, you know, keep them around the same size. I mean, I say that, it's not something that I would, would do myself because I'm I would try it but you know you if if you ask most people they probably say keep them around the same size but again going back to before lots of cover so lots of wood lots of rocks lots of hides and things like that I've had to shuffle this tank around to accommodate these and as you can see there I've just cut, covered a couple of pleco caves put an extra pot in and it seems to have calmed it down because they are now finding their spot and yeah and like i said to you easy fish to breed i will be breeding these in the future um definitely i think they're a great fish to breed they're originally from pair aquatics and yeah i think that right now this fish has become more popular again i think it's a fish that was out years ago i think people had them years ago then they went missing for a bit but nowadays you see i'm seeing these quite a lot i mean look at that female she is stunning stunning colors pH for these guys is 7 to 8, temperature anything from between 73 to 80 and a tank size of about 260 US gallons, 4 foot long. And let's wrap it up now guys. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, just some, just some facts, some information about the fish before you ever buy it or it's something you've been interested. And actually if you're already keeping them, you know, and you want to find out a little bit more from them about them obviously like i said i do keep it simple i also I, I what i like to do is give the information that people probably look for when they're buying fish or you know just a, just a little bit of important stuff anyway so guys i am finished with that now so thank you so much for watching subscribing liking if you're not subscribed to the channel guys do us a favor click the subscribe button and ping that bell for notifications and thank you to anybody that's already done it. And that's me, guys. I am out. I will see you on the next video. See you later.